first Diamond Skulls race. Sir Sild against Kirkwood. Remember Kirkwood. Yeah, so we know we know Kirkwood a bit. He's kicked around in the in the GB system a fair while. He's now coaching Oxford University women. And after the race um, was over, he got back into a bit of sculling this summer. And here he is. Yeah, and uh, he started at a good old lick, hasn't he? He knows he knows what he's doing, this lad. Yes, he does. And he started at a good rate. He's got ahead, nudged ahead. Busy start from him. And a bit further down the course, it's pretty much even. It's going to be a good race. It's such a psychological battle, especially in these early rounds in the singles. You just want to send a message to the other rower that there's just no point in putting in all that effort. You're going to lose anyway, so just give up now. And that, that'll be what uh, each of them are trying to make the other one think <laughs> at this point. Yeah, Sir Sild, the Estonian. We mentioned it just now, the London Olympics. He raced in that age 17. Started rowing at the tender age of just 10 years old back in 2004 and we saw him at Belgrade at the World Cup this summer where he came second in the F final and currently based at Fulham Reef Boat Club and racing for Kingston so an Estonian who's based a little bit further down the water than where we are here and I think this could be a really good race I think Jamie Kirkwood's just got the edge. He's, he's said to us that he's enjoying racing without pressure and stress like the old days. I'm not sure he's feeling the lack of pressure and stress just now. Um, uh, we've, we've moved up the course a little bit now and we can see that Jamie has responded to that pressure and stress and has stretched out um, a length or so lead. Um, it's good to see him a little bit more relaxed. Yes. I guess the pressure and stress of training, you know, we see all of these rowers on big race day where inevitably there's a bit of stress and pressure attached to the event but you know they can be a bit more relaxed in training when they're away from the uh, the gb setup perhaps that's it that's it he's uh, he's racing for himself for his enjoyment of the sport here now he's not trying to get selected for anything um he's not sort of feeling the the weight of his crewmates uh and their, their ambitions and life dreams with him. So he's enjoying it and he really is enjoying it. He has stretched out a substantial lead now um, and he'll be thinking about how he can hold that lead whilst conserving the most possible energy for the remaining rounds. Yeah, former GB lightweight horseman, as Anna mentioned, assistant coach at Oxford University Women's Boat Club and he finished third at the Marlow Regatta already this summer. So had a bit of previous, a bit of form about him. So in his international days, he would have been racing at 70 kilos. He's now 78 kilos, so he's got an extra extra stone on him. It looks like it's all muscle, doesn't it, Tim? Yeah, he's bulked up a little bit, but in a good way. Yeah. Not in an eating pies way. Yes, yeah, so he looks like he's... Uh, oh, a bit of a wobble there. I think he's doing all right. He's just trying to uh, reduce the stroke. He knows he's got this race under control, doesn't he? But he needs to keep his... Again, he needs to keep his concentration here. Yeah, there's a few boats going up and down. Uh, next to the course and they do send a bit of wash across and it uh, because it's coming sideways into the boat it really does tip the boat especially in a single yeah, skull. Yeah the boats will be affected more by that won't they? So it's no no mistakes he's just looked around to see where the finish line is he'll be enjoying the applause of the stewards enclosure. Yeah nice to see Jamie Kirkwood doing exactly what he wanted to do relax and enjoy his rowing and he'll be enjoying this winning feeling gets the diamonds off to a winning start against the Estonian Ger Sir Sild. Well done, Jamie, indeed. And over the line he goes, and that was pretty easy in the end, the margin of victory. Ger Sir Sild comes through now. Good performance from Jamie Kirk.